Tenerife, a Spanish paradise island in the Atlantic where every drop of water counts. Fresh water is one of Tenerife's biggest treasures, but not precisely because there is too much of it. Tenerife's mostly dry weather is the reason why the island doesn't have natural water reserves. Yet important economic sectors like tourism and agriculture demand lots of it. So, poor rain and no rivers makes us wonder, where does the water to fill all of the swimming pools and to irrigate the different Canarian plantations come from? To understand where fresh water comes from, we have to take a look at the rocks beneath our feet. Tenerife is formed by volcanic rocks. Some of these rocks are like sponges because they have holes which accumulate the water from historic rainfalls and form aquifers. Locals have known these for centuries and for supplying their needs, they created galerias, horizontal water mines which search for impermeable rocks that retain water in the aquifer. Nowadays, these provide the 84% of the freshwater demand. In August 2021, we visited the Galleria La Cisterna in northwestern Tenerife with Juan Coelho, a local expert in water management. Inside this Galleria, we could see how water from rainfall travels vertically through the most porous rocks called basalts until they reach a layer which is impermeable and doesn't allow water to pass, creating the aquifer. Galerias are designed at a very shallow slope, so the water runs by gravity through channels like this travel long distances until they reach water containers which deliver the water to the population. Despite the Galeria's abundance and capacity, in the last century the water that is extracted is not equal to the water that goes into the aquifer. The consumption has to do with the uh, agriculture, uh, obviously, but also uh, with the uh, high population and mainly the tourist sites. For these reasons, locals have found artificial ways of getting fresh water, such as water desalination, a controversial solution among the locals and environmentalists. When you are producing uh, desalinated water, you are spending an incredible amount of money. So from our point of view, every drop of water counts. It's important. So it's good to have uh, underground water, it's important to have desalination, but you have the resource already here. Of course, we have to have more desalination plants. I know that they require plenty of energy. It's in our hands to produce part of this electric energy, having more uh, renewable energies. As you can see, the ways to solve the water problem in Tenerife are still controversial. Meanwhile, policies are adapted to solve this. I encourage every water user in Tenerife to help reducing the water consumption and stay informed where your water comes from.